okay so let's move on to class so last class uh, already we discussed right uh, so how to write a uh, terraform script and uh, yesterday we created a uh, we implemented one script for create one uh, linux instance in aws and also we attach right how to add key how to add key and uh, so how to add uh, you know right uh, that is security group and all and also we see right uh, let me open here and which region so last class all this is the provider provider is nothing but this is the one black and uh, so here mostly we are configuring region and uh, how we are connecting your aws account access key and secrets key this is the one way and apart from this uh, we can connect the multiple ways we can connect the profile way also we can connect uh, directly we can connect with the help of uh, aws configuration also anyway coming classes we'll see so for the time being i am connecting with the help of access key and secret key and this is our resource black this is the black and resource name and uh, this is you know right uh, so this is your local resource name os1 and also you know right uh, <coughs> ami this is which ami you want to select and what is the instance type and this is the vpc and this is the key name already attached and i created also uh, these things so anyone any doubt guys here hello yesterday class so anyone any doubt so this is your uh, tag name we can give any name we can give uh, any name okay so this is the provider this is the one black and this is the resource black and under the provider mostly we are configuring which provider which uh, cloud you want to connect so here i am connecting aws cloud and this is the one resource this is the main black under this black under this resource we can add ect vpc whatever you want so that objects and all we can add here so here anyone any doubt yes, yes. or no clear right now let me open this one and uh, this is my script available here and meantime uh, so let me connect my aws instance that is aws account so account aws account dot console click on sign in now if we come to here Okay, so now I connected uh, so my AWS account. Now, if you come to here, uh, so I hope uh, so this is clear, right? Now, I need uh, so now I need two more instances. Now, if I execute this script, now if I run this my Terraform script, how many instances will create, guys? How many instances? How many instances will create? Uh, one or two or three? only one sir only one so my requirement is i want to create one more instance two instances at a time two instances at a time so how to add i need one more instance so we can copy same resource we can copy same and we can paste now see here this is the os1 and this is the os2 and remaining three is same only now i am giving a here right uh, server 1 and this is the server 2 and this is the os1 i given and os2 here also given this is also one way now understand right so this is the one only as of now i created only one resource one instance i need one more instance so if you need one more instance we can simply copy and paste it simply copy and paste it same ami same t2 micro same security group same key only now if i run this script see here terraform terraform already in it uh, so last last right include uh, unclosed black where you unclose where is started here it is started 
it is ended it's one more run raise us yes started okay here yeah. okay control save control s save and uh, come to here just already in it and all uh, already one time only no need to turn every time now if you see here now terraform validate so terraform validate validate means uh, it is uh, verifying so do we have any errors whether your terraform script is correct or not it is validating so now here there is a problem uh, first uh, tf resource uh, something also missing so where it is missing first line sir in vs1 we had uh, one flower places missing sir okay where is that here right correct now yes. we started here close it okay now check it go to here terraform uh, validate hmm, still one is missing the arguments block definition is uh, required here where i will required? check the code once again Okay, here this is the provider this is a provider it is started here it is uh, started it is ended here i think we up to here correct right yes sir uh, close here this one and uh, i am coming to come to here and uh, so here uh, close this one that's it here started here ended okay now tag started here tag ended here someone is join okay so now control s save coming to here terraform uh, validate so validate means uh, so now it is now it is uh, validating now it is validating now see here validation is success validation is success now if you observe here this is a script i need two instances right i need two instances sir. so if you want to create two instances i copy two times sir. for example i need 10 instances sir. So how many times I can copy and paste? Terraform plan. Now I'm using uh, so plan. So if I use plan means now if you use plan means now we can see here also we can understand what is our plan. So how many resources we are going to create? Now got it, guys. See here your plan two. Now if you observe here here also we can understand. So what is your plus two plan? So AWS instance OS one. So this is your AMI. This is your AMI, and uh, so this is your instance type T two, and uh, so this is the tag name Linux server one. And same way, if we come to here one more. So if we come to here uh, one more OS instance two, and same AMI ID, and uh, this is the type instance type, and also tag name, and also we can see that key and uh, security group everything. So total, how many instance? How many resources? Plan is two, right? For example, at a time I want to create a ten instances. Sir. So can you copy ten times? That is not good practice, right? Now got it. Now here also it will create two instances. Sir. Now if I run this, so how many instances will create, guys? Two instances. Sir. There is no doubt. Now run it. So see here, Terraform, Terraform. Apply, hyphen, hyphen, auto, hyphen, approve. Just I am running. Now if you come to console, now see here. Go to EC2 instance. Go to EC2 instance. And uh, so as of now, if we have anything, now instances running. Right now we don't have any instances, right? Just uh, wait uh, two seconds. Uh, it is see here. Now we can see two more instances. Terminated. These are just to refresh it. So which region it is? Virginia only, right? Now check it here. Pending. See Linux two, Linux server two started. Linux server one also started. How many instances are created, guys? Two instances, right? It is creating. It is creating. Pending. Pending means uh, just uh, it is initializing. It will take time, right? Running, initializing. Now got it. Uh, for example, I need five instances. Now, can you copy five times to copy and paste it? It is also working. We can copy five times, right? Five times we can copy and paste it. That is also work working. 
but uh, so if you come to automation part that is not a best practice right for example if you want to 10 instance so can you copy 10 times copy and paste it now got it yes sir so to overcome this problem so to overcome this problem so there is a one variable they are providing also one variable count uh, count is one variable and with the help of count and we can easily manage these things now this is the creating right so after creating i am going to destroy it after creating i am going to destroy it so meantime uh, just let me run now i am going to use uh, so one variable this is the count c o u n t count count equal to so now i given uh, so three now i given three so if you declare count equal to three means so what is this this is the list guys so internally it is maintaining list what is this meaning means uh, OS one and here I am giving a OS only and if you give like this now this is the OS one and OS two and OS three OS one OS two and OS three. Now if you want to see just uh, run plan. Now see here I given count three. So count means uh, how many three right? Now how it is planning? Uh, how internally it is executing means? So internally it is maintaining a list. So now if we come to here. Let me destroy these things. Okay, or else uh, I am going to use plan. Plan. See here, there are farm. Plan. If I use plan, means now if I observe here, this is the count three. So three means how many? Three. Now this is internet is maintaining three. Now it is. Uh, now if you observe here, now see here plan is three. Here plan is three. Now, if you check it here, how it is uh, maintaining, right? So this is the OS. Uh, this is the OS two, and index starts with zero, guys. Index starts with zero, and this is the OS zero, and uh, so this is the OS. Uh, here, right? So first see here. This is the OS zero. Index zero, and I give one count equal three, right? Same AMI, and uh, so same T two micro. And remaining part is same as is well. No change, no change and all. Now, if we come to here, next OS one. What is this? This is the list, right? Internet is maintaining three. Suppose if I give count equal to five. Now it is planning to maintain internal list and five times. Now, if we come to here, this is the. So this is the OS two. This is the index. Okay, this is the index. Now same AMI and same T two instance. And also same key and the same tag name and same security group. So everything same configuration only. Now that is okay. Now let me remove that one. So Terraform destroy already earlier I given two right. Now I'm going to remove destroy. Let me destroy it. That's it. So now here okay. Now if I run this, so what is this tag name? What is this tag names, guys? Tag name is same, or is there any changes here? Now count I given three. Okay. Now this is the OS zero, and this is the list, right? How it will maintain? It is maintaining internally. MS Paint. So here I given uh, so. So here count. So you want to count I given uh, three. So what is my resource name? Here I given resource name is uh, so here I given resource name is so OS OS right we can give any name and uh, so if you run this is like uh, so it is internally maintaining list format so OS zero that is one index and OS that is uh, zero one and OS uh, two like this it is maintaining suppose if I give five it is maintaining OS three and uh, this is the OS four also. And if I give a count equal to five, now got it, guys. So anyone any doubt here? This is vacant. Now if I run this script, if I run this script, and uh, so what about here tag name, guys? So it is creating five three instances, sir. Same AMI and the same instance type and the same VPC, same key name and the tag name is also Linux server one only. Anyone any doubt here? So now see here. If we come to here, 
so already saved right so terraform 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 and apply i am using uh, so iphone auto upload now total how many instances so total three and uh, so it will create three instances now try to understand here i am giving uh, so apply now come to here gua level just refresh it and click on here and come to here dashboard so running instances we don't have right click on running instances now just wait uh, so few seconds three instances will start just refresh it come to here so is there any error no right still it is creating so now see here it is creating uh, so first uh, two it is creating and zero also started and one also started total uh, three right so it is taking some time three instance right now come to here just dashboard click on running instance now see here what is the tag name so for all three instances tag name is same only but same configuration same instance that is the same uh, instant type equal to t2 micro and id also same id same ami and the same security group and same key name see here security group also same and the key name also same and also it will start one more instance also just refresh it so now observe here three are started right anyone any doubt here how many instances you want here i given count equal to three if you give count equal to three so now it will create three instances sir. now i need three instances sir. so your doubt so what is my requirement uh, sir for every instances i want to change this tag name also automatically i want to do some automation now we need to manually update right so if you observe here all instances tag name is same only right clear yes sir. so now what is my now i am going to automate so automatically i want to give for every instances i need to give some name also different name i don't want as a common tag name you want to update that common tag name so that case so there is a one uh, there is a one you know right attribute we need to add it so we need to index so how to add that index now in this case clear right so if it is clear now i'm going to destroy it okay created done let me destroy it now i'm going to add uh, so how to give different uh, tag name also for every instance each instance dstrovi destroy just i destroy it now come to here now how to add it guys this is a count x3 right now if you go here give tag name any name for example this is the line x srv and uh, so underscore and i need to give some name okay line x server 1 or line x server 2 like that this is a variable right so how to read this variable this is the syntax guys dollar dollar flower bracket and count count now we need to give increment also right so there is an index index means it is giving 0 1 2 like that right 0 1 2 same way count dot index that's it count dot index so this is a common name this is a common name line x server line x server first it will come zero and first it will next it will come one next it will come two only if you want to underscore we can add underscore also okay whatever you want we can give it okay now this is the syntax count dot index so first it is coming zero right second time it is coming one that time it is coming two same here it is adding so linux server underscore one linux server underscore two linux server underscore three like this anyone any doubt here now i'm going to give uh, so add that update the tag name as well also i don't want same tag name for all instances so based on instance i want to add, update this tag name as well also and that case here i am giving count dot index this is the count dot index now let me run so now see here go to here clear 
terraform now i'm giving plan pla terraform plan now here also we can plan is nothing but we are not going to create actual uh, resource right just this is our plan under plan also we can easily understand so what is the tag name what is the tag name we can see here so now see here what is the tag name guys linux server one okay now if we come to here second so linux server two tag name it is updated or not index dot syntax correct count terraform okay how to that so count dot count dot index okay so correct one correct one right now come to here so now if you see here uh, go here tag name linux one here also it will update but anyway i can update three right now let me run it terraform terraform and also apply hyphen auto approve what is this p missing p missing approve a p p o r o approve right auto approve now if you come to here now go to here go to dashboard and click on running instance just refresh it already existing uh, previous uh, earlier that is deleted destroyed and just wait uh, so now it is creating now see here so this is os and os1 os2 also same coming to here just refresh it Now click on dashboard and go to running instance just refresh it now you can see tag name it is giving a see this is the linux server one and one is ready and click on refresh click on refresh dashboard only one is done now go to here and still it is creating till it is creating now refresh so this is the count dot index so count dot so index so now we can uh, see here it is taking longer time so still it is creating two and one uh, still it is creating so not at update here okay click on refresh it is not incremented uh, anything missing here correct only right count dot index dollar dollar anything missing guys how to use this count no 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 correct only but it is not updated right count equal to false count equal to list okay mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. okay now okay so this is correct only now i am going to use a different way so whether it will work or not now so i need three instances how many instances i need three instances so one instance for one instance for dev and uh, so one instance for dev 
and the second instance for uh, test environment i need tag name like that second instance i need to give uh, so test and uh, so third instance i need to give prod if i now here count i am giving three only count i am giving three only but uh, so if i run if i run my script so that is i need to give some naming convention so for first instance development environment dev dev environment dev server and uh, so second instance test server and third instance and uh, you know right uh, so prod like that so if you want to give so automation so we need to add uh, so one more that is the uh, so variable we need to declare one variable so now this is one more variable just i am giving uh, so name okay we can give environment here also we can i check example also so variable and we need to type list and default i need to add some environments we can follow same here also they given some example we can check that one also now see here variable and uh, so here type equal to okay i will discuss next class uh, that variables and all type equal to list uh, and this is the string type already you know right uh, that is cell scripting what is string uh, and uh, so what is integer value same story here also type equal to list uh, list means we can add multiple values and uh, so default d f a u l t default equal to i am giving uh, one is for development and uh, so another is for test environment and another one for prod so these are the three so variable so variable is the one tag black here type equal to list what type of i am storing as string type string is nothing but group of characters this is the one string this is the one string this is the one string here list is nothing but we can add multiple strings i am storing into default this is the one variable default under i am storing how many three now so here same way if i create one instance first instance i want to give naming convention dev server or dev environment and second instance i need to give test server test environment and for third instance i want to give prod server if you want to like this first we need to declare store these three string values i am storing into the list type list is nothing but a group of you know right we can add multiple string values multiple string values and uh, so and if you want to read uh, so based on this index so we can read that values now same way here yeah, right here i am giving uh, so count equal to index and the same way just i am uh, commenting this line ash is nothing but commenting and uh, so name equal to name equal to and uh, so here also same name line x or i am giving to os os underscore and uh, so dollar if you want to read these values if you want to read these values variable dot here we need to give some name so this is the n e n v okay list in my whatever name e n v e n v names okay environment uh, names just i given some names whatever name we can give it so this is a variable right if somewhere if you want to use so actually if you don't know right variable i will explain later just for the time being remember if you want to call that variable variable dot so what is your variable name guys this is my variable name copy this variable name and uh, so paste it somewhere where is this variable dot this one and next um, how to call this one variable dot environment variable um, next flower bracket or open bracket syntax so variable dot flower braces already i given flower right i think count dot index count dot index right syntax correct 
or I can check it variable dot variable dot env names same name rise enm names and a count dot index count dot index so now first it is coming uh, what value first this is zero right zero means this is the development and uh, second time it is coming test and third time it is coming fraud anything missing here a uh, cow sub they are giving count server okay if anything uh, so we'll check it so now this is right apply just let me remove this one destroy so now see here uh, last time interval also they asked guys so for example uh, so they need to create uh, so three or four instance for every time while creating instance they want to give server name they want to give a server name so what is that server name that is nothing but label name so for development they want to give some name development for testing environment they want to give testing for stage environment they want to give stage and uh, prod they want to give prod that is a scenario so how to declare in our terraform script so how we can declare guys list how we are declaring here list here list means i am storing also multiple environment that is group of uh, strings right so we can store uh, multiple string values and how i am reading this one how i am reading this one variable dot this is a variable i declare right variable dot your variable name and uh, so here i am counting count dot index count dot index here anyone any doubt so let me try first uh, let me validate so terraform syntax correct or not terraform validate okay now terraform 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 hyphen approve play right approve now plan also we can check it here i didn't use plan right so i forgot to show uh, plan so it is creating a three to add plan is three to add and it is coming uh, so zero one two now here also we can uh, check here what is name it is coming here now see here here also we can check it uh, while creating instance and uh, so what is my tag name what is my tag name now see here guys tag name os underscore dev so first instance it is giving underscore dev and while creating second instance so which value it is reading now see here i am assigning so os dot test this is a list right first it is coming uh, count dot zero that is first it is dev and uh, second it is test and uh, so what is this index two index two means that is the prod now if you observe here now we can observe os underscore prod os underscore prod os underscore prod now same here also we can check it now come to here just refresh it go to here running instances three instances so for one instance what is the label name guys test and the second instance what is my label first uh, here uh, list if you check it list here list what value i stored here first is dev and the second is test and third is for prod now got it so anyone any doubt here actually they want to create uh, so three or four instance for every instance so dynamically while creating the instance the label name i want to give development and testing 
and uh, so prod or stays like that so how we can declare in our terraform script so how to we can declare terraform scripts wise there is a variable first where this is a main this two lines is main type equal to list type equal to list and string type what is list type here string and default here i am storing array format that is nothing but list these are the list values so dev test prod now how these values we are assigning to our instance dynamically and automate so variable dot environments count dot index count dot index so what is the first time index zero zero means now it is coming uh, variable dot even names dot zero dev and uh, second it is coming test os underscore test and third time it is coming os underscore prod so same name i am assigning here now got it anyone any doubt here hello so this is the so last interview they asked just if you want to so assign like this so this is the script this is the script clear so if it is clear uh, so let's move on to just remember and if you want to store uh, just take list values list and under the list we are passing some list values and how to read that value count dot index so same based on this count here i given three and here also i given three only here also i am passing three matching same so based on this i am reading it so now instance is ready now everyone know so my instance are ready now once my instance is ready i want to install some packages so how to install so manually how we are going to install guys so this is my instance test development environment so here this is my development environment now leave it all these things i am going to comment remove these things and uh, you are confused right so leave this all this also you don't want leave it now we understand concept right now uh, here also same story and come to here uh, so leave this thing also now this is my same story here i am going to install one here i creating one instance once instance is created now i want to connect this instance and i also i need to install some packages so once uh, see instance is ready once instance is ready once instance was created so how to connect this instance so as of now how we are connecting guys this instance this is a just assume linux instance ready how we are connecting ssh ssh hyphen i ssh hyphen i what is the syntax pm file right username at ip address or dns name correct anyone any doubt here same thing right but if yes, you want sir. to connect if you want to connect via terraform script so there is a one uh, there is a there is a one uh, so block is there that is the connection just go and search it provision provisioner connections in terraform connections connection in terraform so if you want to connect any instance so now if you click on see provisioner this is the syntax guys this is a provisioner see most provisioners require access to the remote resource via ssh now i want to connect via ssh so if you want to connect via ssh this is the syntax so connection block what is the connection block we can create one or more connections block that describe how to access your remote resource so this is the syntax now if you go here if you go here if you go here and uh, so this is the syntax connections and the provisioner this is a local or we can connect a remote we can local or we can connect a remote see here so connection connection see here type what type you are connecting ssh and what is the user name which user you want to connect 
and what is the password if we have password we can pass it right now i don't have any password i am giving private key and what is the host host is nothing but ip address you know right host is nothing but ip address host is nothing but your ip address so we can pass your public ip address so this is the syntax guys this is the syntax so this is the syntax now see let copy the same thing and copy the same thing and uh, so so what is this this is the provisioner and here also we can check it uh, go to here provisioner go back and also here one more thing you need to add also remote exe provisioner so we need to add some more script also this is your actual script actually now see here what is remote exe provisioner so now this is my linux instance right there is two ways we can add guys so one is local and second one is also remote also so local and remote also if you come here see here that this is the local exe local is nothing but in our mission we can execute suppose now i am connecting my aws instance right so this is the remote this is the remote remote is nothing but i want to execute here this is the remote exe local is nothing but in our local mission if you want to execute anything so there is one more thing also we can add it that is the local so leave it that one we will see later now this is the syntax see here remote exe provisioner see remote exe provisioner invokes script on your remote resource after instance is created once my instance is ready first i need to connect this mission with the help of connection block after connecting this block i want to execute something i want to install some packages whatever you want that is your wish clear guys what is your requirement is so this is once my instance is ready first step is i need to connect my instance that is with the help of connection block connection block once i connected my instance i want to execute some script i want to install some packages so we need to use a provisioner this is the tag right this is the tag i need to add this is one more thing see here provisioner remote exe where you want to trigger my script in this script here only where you want to execute in this provisioner that is nothing but remote remote is nothing but your uh, instance local is nothing but your local mission same thing copy it same thing copy it i am not going to change anything same thing copy it see here let me copy up to here and uh, come to my existing script only i'm not going to do anything so here right so just add let me add it here let me add it here and the connection connection type equal to sh and user which user you are connecting guys what is the default username linux mission what is the default username ec2 user ec2 iphone user correct ec2 iphone user and uh, so what is the password what is the password so here right now i don't have any password for right for time being just comment it and we need to add one more uh, reference and uh, so just go and search it if you go here argument reference uh, so we know right private key what is your pm file guys private or public key mm, remote exe script arguments somewhere we can key private this is a private ip i don't want this one go to here mm. let me come to here terraform documentation providers terraform terraform providers just click on providers click on here and uh, we need to find uh, that argument go to here and uh, so aws 
underscore instance anything just click it resource AWS underscore instance is that somewhere we see right uh, AWS instance now if you go here private key right mm -hmm. I need to go references right argument references and uh, just set the private key private what is that arguments name guys reference arguments private underscore mm, private dns name private dns check it here org attribute reference private Anyone, any idea? Mm, private. There is a one attribute we need to add it. Private key or security? Security group, not this one. VP security underscore ID. see secret key somewhere I see default AMI access key IAM not this one user IAM SH key This is a key name. Mm, I forgot that key name. Uh, so let me check here somewhere. Somewhere also we can see that. See mm, private only, but this is not getting right private underscore key only where I bought this one private underscore key so attribute reference connection uh, directly we can search here also so this is a terraform if you use a private underscore key this is the one attribute so private key is generated this uh, by this resource will store encrypted unencrypted your terraform uh, state file so if you want to pass uh, your pm file or if any public key or private key so we are using uh, this is the one uh, private underscore key so actually we can find somewhere so this is official models key fair also we can check it here also so aws here private underscore key uh, now see here public underscore key and uh, public underscore key we can give your public key name under so same way we can use also private create private key true also that is not I am expecting create private key private arguments this is a public key or private key so this is a private key pm file already I have pm file right so we need to add uh, this is the syntax guys this is the syntax private underscore key and we need to give where is your uh, pm file so where is your pm file so where is my pm file so here if we go to here this is my this is my file path this is my file path so my pm file is available in my local this is my windows right user desktop pm this is my path don't confuse here so under this I have my PM file terraform.pm file this is my public and private P and just I am updating uh, so that one 
and also here I need to add I need to add um, which file I am updating here only right uh, this is our username this is the private key and host key so if you want to get a host key means so how to get my public IP address without public IP we cannot right so we need to declare one variable and same way like uh, this way so aws underscore instance and your uh, black name and public ip this is the attribute reference so this is nothing but uh, so attribute reference now if you come to here my host so if you come to here this is how i know sorry this is public or private ip so now if you go here what is my black name guys resource black name aws underscore instance and what is my name os now we need to give dot os not os1 os once os is created and uh, so now i need to get that public ip this is the syntax this is the syntax so your blah resource name and uh, so this is the resource that is your black name and your local name and dot public ip here i am getting your public ip now connection is done i am connecting now we need to install some packages so what packages you want to install guys so for example sudo i want to install HTTPD. whether we can install able to install HTTP or not just stick it how to install HTTPD? m this is the provisioner remote which script you want to execute after connected once you connected your instance i want to execute some script now tell me how to install HTTPD? m m install, install. HTTP. HTTP. that's it right iphone y okay now once that is installed now how to uh, next step what is next step start the service sudo hmm. how to start that service what is next step system ctl enable sudo system ctl enable STM system CTL enable HTTPD. Okay, so that's it. So anything missing? This two enough, right? So it is installing my HTTPD server, and uh, so it is, uh, you know, right? Enable that server. Okay, and uh, so if you want to, there is a default one file, right? So how to create one file and how to add content to that file anyone I want to create one index file Generally, we are creating one index file. We are adding some content, right? Uh, tell me sudo touch hmm. For example, uh, so this is uh, right now my instance is running after connecting my instance. Uh, I want to so this is the instance right pod click on this and uh, so manual i'm creating connecting copy this same command just copy and paste it that's it guys no need to do anything and uh, so first manually try it uh, whether it is working or not same commands copy and paste it so this is one instance i'm connecting and uh, yes okay clear the screen hmm. sudo m install HTPD whatever commands we are passing same thing HTPD iPhone Y that's it what is missing so we're going to write okay, okay. this is a Ubuntu okay. Ubuntu means uh, here uh, which am I given Ubuntu or am I? A A APT APT that's all just APT actually here I given uh, Linux only, but I don't know why it is picking Ubuntu. Maybe that is changed. Actually, here I given this AMI. Maybe it is uh, I need to update. Okay, let me come to here. Same hmm. apt iPhone get correct. So yes. apt iPhone get that's it. Now it is uh, what is this? I think name is also changed. HTTPD to something is there in 
Ubuntu. Ubuntu is different. Step one or two? Anyone install it? Ubuntu? I, no, I didn't install. We'll check it. Okay. Let me anyway. This is I'm going to update uh, Linux one day. Select this one and uh, type same potato, right? Now let me update this AMI. Maybe that is a uh, Ubuntu. Now come to my script. So what is my AMI ID? I am going to update Linux only. Linux very simple, right? Updated AMI. Control S save and uh, this two enough. Okay, later we'll see manually if anything missing. And uh, so let's uh, if you want to create a uh, what is the command? That's just once that is done. Stretch. Mm. No director are done. So leave leave pseudo pseudo just echo pseudo echo director write it pseudo space double quotation already double quotation there right there you give single quotation mm, I think up to here right single quotation no 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 uh, no no leave before echo okay, single quotation manually echo even that is not the right one we first leaves remove remove up to echo remove remove okay, single right quotation. Now i am giving up to here uh, two steps manually we'll uh, i'll add that kind of file later whether uh, these two lines are executed or not first check it okay so now see here so anything missing i am connecting ssh and username is ec2 user and uh, so this is my pm file so this is the attribute name and the private underscore key and uh, so file and uh, you see to this is my file path and host equal to i am getting public ip so once uh, that is done once that is done uh, i want to execute these two commands so whether we can see so anyway whether we can able to access or not that's it now let me delete all these things i don't want this one let me remove this existing under destroy ds troy waste right this thing i don't want just oh yes this is no closing brace where is missing is here one more or oh, correct here started right here it is ended control s save now coming to here just apply it anyway updated that and all right that is the problem anyway uh, just validate it terraform validate I am going to delete uh, manually those and all. Mm, one more thing missing. What is count? Somewhere we are using count, right? Where I used count. So check it here. I don't want count. That variable is not available. Leave it as it is. Control S, save. Now validate. Okay. Now I'm going to create, uh, so what is my server name? Let me give, uh, this is the HTTPD server. Tag name I'm giving HTTPD server. Whatever name you can give it, only one server, right? So I given tag name. Now Terraform plan, check it. PLN plan. Mm. Terraform plan. So whether plan is success or not. Uh, instance OS2 R1, instance 2 F10 R1. Mm, 
now I'm giving one okay mm, now validate it that is already I modified something right without destroying so maybe that is a problem just I'm updating okay so now see here actually earlier what is the problem I created three instances I updated my script so I'm trying to uh, you know right uh, so I'm trying to validate uh, plan it there is some problem R1 R1 see here that is 0 1 uh, 2 that is uh, that is not available right so that is the reason uh, so I given my local name uh, different name that's it here I given my local name different name OS 1 now everything good now finally Terraform apply so Terraform apply apply iPhone auto iPhone app approved that's it now so what is the first step guys first it is creating one instance so it is connecting my AWS cloud and it is this is my AMI this is a Linux related AMI and this is a T2 micro enough for me this is my security group and this is my key name and this is my tag name up to I hope everyone clear now once instance is created now I am connecting uh, so EC2 user. So this is my path. Where is my private key and public and private key in my local mission? This is the tag guys file and uh, so where your PM file is available and host how to get my public IP. This is the syntax my resource name dot name and public underscore IP. In this case we are getting your public IP. Once we connected now I am executing these two commands. That's it. Now see here whether those steps will execute or not so now see uh, resource completed that's it what i did uh, this up to auto prone right created destroying still destroying destination is after three seconds now go to here i give an apply only right one resource added now come to here go to here go to ec2 instances click on the line instances and just refresh so HTTP server is running okay now check it same click on this and what is my AMI ID same 8c whatever I given it is picked or not 8c so 8c correct and as uh, remaining I hope uh, everything correct only now connection so what is this connection SSH EC2 user password uh, that is commented right it is connecting AWS public IP mm, now coming to here go to EC2 dashboard just running instance just refresh it okay now so whether that uh, so HTTP is running or not click on this click on the connect copy this one and connect your instance first manually I'm checking whether HTTP is running or not right click go to here go to bash and coming to here test it let's check it whether it is running or not so check it guys sudo system CTL and the status HTTPD whether it is running or not that type error right status sudo SYS system CTL SYS SYS TM system CTL data HTTPD. HTTPD. Correct one, right? Command not found. Just to give that command RPM. RPM. I space hyphen Q. Space HTTPD. Not installed. 
not installed. Oh, it is actually here. It's not throwing anyone. Yeah, go, go to go to our code. CPU user. There. My instance. What is it? It is connected or not? I don't know. Just just some, somewhat go up, go up. I think small doubt is there. I'm having doubt. Connection. Go up, go up. Here. Now there OS one is there. There you mentioned OS dot. That is the problem. There. Yeah, OS sorry. Here, right? It yeah, is that problem. is the problem. Maybe here also we can check it, but I didn't check it. Here also, here also we can't see that script handle, right? It is destroying, that's it, it is creating. So that is a problem. Let me um, first control Z. I am destroying it. Again, I am rerunning it. So how to destroy? Same. Auto approve, destroy. Destroy. Now got it, guys. What is the problem here? So actually public IP I am not getting correct IP. So that is unable to connect my instance. And uh, so now I given uh, updating correct path. First let me destroy. I am going to update. One is destroyed. Just wait. Still, it is destroying. Now, in console also, we can see whether I, you can able to connect your instance or not, and whether that script is executed or not. So earlier, it is not connected. So there is some problem. But actually, it is throwing error. But I don't know. Connection tom mode, we are getting one error. OK, destroy. Now come to here. One, save, and just, just again validate it. So Terraform apply iPhone yep uh, auto pro auto that's it now here also we can monitor you can check it we can watch here we can understand whether it is able to create the instance and whether we can able to connect that one or not so add one to add and first it is creating instance and uh, just wait and we can see here also whether we are able to connect or not. So instance is creating. Creation completed after 38 seconds. I think this case also not uh, done, right? Only instance is done. And what about this script? Anything connection type only. EC2 iPhone user only. My file path. Where it is started here, right? It is ended here. It is started here. It is ended here. Anything missing here? Now we can check here. Where I found. After web instance. Inside the main block only, right? Total code should be available inside the OS block only. Then only it will work. Same, same, same only. This is same okay. OS block only. Same OS block only. This is started here. Script ended here. Correct only. Okay. Now, now let me change first. Destroy. I'm going to change something. Coming to here, just destroy DS. I 
refreshing state. Okay. Or else remove the state file once and recreate it without any difficulty to create it. Same direct, right? Manually remo remove state file. Terraform desktop. Where is my state file? Terraform backup and also HCL. This and all uh, only, only only TF state the last one. Right, right, which is running. Mm -hmm. That is the That's all. That's all. Okay. Now let me run. Also and also I am updating uh, so that my local name also I am giving three. Here also I am giving three. So what is public IP of my three? Control S save and let me run. In it. I removed right files uh, just I am rerunning it. Okay, so Terraform Terraform plan. Okay, and uh, so Terraform apply app iPhone auto up. So the script run now check it or else I will show you next class. I'll also I'll delete it existing all files and I will recreate it. So here itself we can see what are the steps we implemented here. Same steps. So first it is creating instances and next we are connect to the instance and it is executing the our script and all. Now check it. First it is creating instance. Here also we can understand what is going on. Underscore mm. mm. still it is creating. Creation complete, okay. And IP won't visible for you. Try it. IP won't visible because of you didn't use output. Mm, let me write out dot output. Okay. Public yeah. IP. Okay, I'm giving value equal to same name. Okay. Now I'm rerunning the same. Now whether IP we are getting or not. Throw uh, from play, refreshing state. IP is coming correct only public IP correct only right yes yes now you try it mm. but the script is not running IP correct only mm. let me execute my old script whether it is run or not same only connection user password variables public ip only instance whatever you want same script only there is nothing and up to here let me run go to here and uh, go to here connection up to here correct right okay
user type ss user name uh, and this is the variable okay this is same only file man pm file and uh, this is my host what is name here two right two not one two only and uh, so here fusion remote same so connection done okay now i'm going to use uh, sc4 and the uh, same i'm going to use public ip4 set now there are from just plan 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 What is trying? Error four. One brace is missing something. Resource has not been declared in the root level. No, the the OS is OS3. instance OS three. I think it is not uh, declare. This is the instance OS three HTPD. It is not identified. Actually, I modified, right? That is a problem here. So go to here. Remove five. Save it. Control A, Control C. Or let me create a new file. Same path. Okay, I am closing this one. Closing this one. Just uh, rename underscore old okay. control C control V EC2 Remove this one, remove this one. I don't want all. Now let me edit it. Now this is the OS 5 and uh, or this is HTPD SRV and copy this one and go here. What is this instance HTPD public IP? That's it. Now let me run. Right click this file no need already we deleted also we modified right some case uh, problem now terra pump init now i'll try it or else i will show you next class maybe now it will work terra pump apply hyphen auto approve What is this? Actually, it is pointing something. OS3 not been declared root. OS3 it is. Let me close all these things. I don't know. I don't know. So this is right. Now script is. Okay. Go to here, back here, dashboard, instances, let me delete all these things. Manual I am terminated, existing and all. But we are not getting this, uh, this type of issues. So SRC, anything, any missing? Everything correct on it. EC2, EC2, HTPT server. Let's change name also. And uh, connection remote. 
सेम की टेराफॉर्म एच एंड ए सी टू रूट आई पब्लिक आई ओके हियर इज द प्रॉब्लम दट इज द प्रॉब्लम वी आर गेटिंग एरर नाउ वी नीड टू गिव दिस नेम वाट इज दिस नेम वाट इज दिस नेम दिस नेम राइट earlier we are getting this error actually we removed right we updated but here we didn't update so that is the problem we are getting error message now everything clear coming to here right click git bash and uh, so now terraform uh, init command now terraform apply iphone Auto iPhone I have to approve. Now it will work. I think just let's see whether it will run or not. Mm. Now, so outcome apply also created started. Here also you can understand whether uh, that it is connecting to instance or not, whether it is going to install that package or not. Everything we can check here itself. Now still it is creating, creating. Now see here it is connected. Post 69 username EC2 user and it is connected and waiting from the processor. It is installing the HTTP server. Now see here. Now everything working fine. Now see here it is installing HTTP server and also we given we added one line right. What is that line? So echo welcome to HTTP server added to this file. I added to this file index.html file and uh, so enable uh, stpd just now this is uh, now or we can remove also it will work no problem so now everything working fine now see here it is enable that service also everything done now directly you can come here we can try it see here remove all these things coming to dashboard running instance so just copy what is the public IP 69 here itself we can find it so what is the public IP 69 now see here what is the public IP it is got 69 only 52 dot 92 91 dot 32 dot 69 so here it is connected once connection is done and it is started the remote execution so script is executed now copy right just uh, how to access paste it sorry not copied go to here copy public ip coming to browser just paste it now you can see welcome to httpd server so this is entire uh, we automated right so the script is simple only but try to understand so what is going on actually this is no need for output purpose only if you want to we can keep it or else we can delete it also so now see here what is the first part i hope everyone know and uh, this part also i hope everyone know up to this and this is the uh, new part what is this so connection so if you want to connect uh, your you know right provisioner your instance so this is the one tag available this is the sub black actually this is the sub black if you go and uh, seek it here uh, this is the sub black and somewhere we see right uh, this is the sub black now this is the remote exe so this is also one sub black and what is the main purpose if you want to execute if you want to execute anything in our mission and uh, so we need to use this one so this is the exe provisioner and uh, so with the help of uh, and we are connecting and we are executing so this is the same syntax only no need to remember just copy and uh, paste it see this part is connection connection between your ec2 instance once we connected and uh, what is this black and a provisioner remote exec there is local exec is also available local exec for it is running local only we, that is very simple we can run any command in our local mission so inline command inline 
and I installed the HTTP server and I created one file and I added content to that file and finally I, na I enable that service that's it this is your requirement based on your requirement whatever you want we can add it and finally I close the block that's it this is only for output purpose anyway next class I will explain what is variables what is output and all we can understand next class clear guys so anyone any doubt and finally copy that public IP and go to browse just face it so now whether you can able to access that server or not clear so this is entire yeah. automation so manually we install so not manually manually you know right so this is via terraform script so how to install automatically this is the automation part so like this uh, whenever if you need there is one sub black is there that is the connection black and also provisioner exe remote exe black this is the sub black so this is the main black guys so here instance is this resource is my main block this is the resource aws underscore instance is main block and connection this is the sub block okay connection and provisioner remote exe c so this is only just copy and paste and based on a requirement update it and just rerun it that's it no need to do anything clear what's in other yeah clear clear <laughs> Just try your side, but first time we are getting some errors. Just try and try, we'll uh, get it. Okay, okay, so that's it from my side today. And if you have any doubt.